Hey everybody, welcome back. So recently, I had a very life-changing experience. I lost my keys. And what made the whole thing so annoying, and it wasn't really life-threatening, but what made it so really annoying, because I've misplaced my keys before, was I knew almost exactly where they were, but I couldn't find them. Pulled up in my driveway with the wife, got out of my car. I had the keys when I pulled up, but I took two steps out of the car and she asked me for the keys to unlock the door and I did not have them anymore. We searched through the car. We searched on the ground. There's a row of oleander bushes next to the car, which I'm going to show you here shortly, and a recycle bin. We searched everywhere and couldn't find them. And then I remembered, or she remembered maybe, that she had hand as soon as I got out of the car, she had handed me a coffee cup and said, dump this. So I poured the remaining coffee in the oleanders and I put the paper cup into the recycle bin. So at that point I knew they either had to be in the oleanders or in the recycle bin. So I went through the recycle bin one thing at a time and um, nothing. I knew they had to be in those oleanders. And I searched and I searched, I raked up around them, I searched down through them, I even searched through them at night with a flashlight because we're talking about a pretty good size ring of keys with a shiny brass belt hook on them and a red Swiss army knife. Could not find them. So then my wife said to me, let me show you the oleanders first. Okay, for those of you who aren't familiar with oleander bushes, this is what they look like. This is the recycle bin I thought they could have been in and these are the oleanders. And I would have gotten out right about here and you can see by looking down in how hopelessly dense that is and how hopeful it, hopeless it was to attempt to find them without some kind of assistance. Okay, so now that you know what, what I was up against, the wife said to me after I would rekeyed the door locks and things like that, why don't you try one of those inexpensive metal detectors from Amazon? Well, for starters, treasure hunting has never been my thing. So I didn't even know such a thing existed. I thought metal detectors were those big things with the wand that, you know, treasure hunters went up and down the beach with. So she sent me a link. So I thought, 25 bucks, I'll give it a shot. Let me get this stuff out of the way. So here it is. This is what arrived. This is the GP pointer metal detector. 360 degree side detection with pinpointing tip cost $25 and shockingly enough it gets really good reviews. So let's take a quick look at it. I have had it out and used it but I put it back in the box because it's really not something I expect to use very often. Comes with a little stretchy lanyard thing. Comes with a 9 volt battery and there's the unit itself. And um, also comes with a belt, little belt holster thing. I don't know why I would want to use a bell holster. I guess if you wanted to carry it around, you could use it. I suppose if you had a uniform, you could, and a willing participant, you could dress up as a TSA agent and do a little, nah, you know what, I'm not going down that road. Anyway, here it is. Let's put the battery in it. It's got a screw-on end cap with a little lanyard hole thing for it. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it, if you can look down in, it obviously shows you one hole is bigger than the other, which would be for the negative battery. So we'll plop that in there. We'll put the cap back on. And we'll turn it on. Now it's got an LED. And um, as you can see, when you get close to metal, it goes off. And the closer you get, the louder it gets. So we had to go to, a, this This arrived one day about 15 or 20 minutes before we had to go to a doctor's appointment. And so I thought, what the heck, I'm just going to go out and I'm just going to poke, start poking this thing in those oleanders and see if I can find it. It took probably three minutes and maybe 15 or 20 pokes and the thing started screaming bloody murder at me. And even when I had it right up next to him in those oleanders, and it was screaming its head off, I still couldn't see them. I literally had to pick those things apart near where this thing was making noise before I could find them. You see, that's no little, that was oleanders, those, I hate those things. They could conceal just about anything. So, it saved my butt 
for 25 bucks and I'm really pretty happy with it. But what I want to do here today, besides just telling you my little story, is I want to see how good it is. Now, I don't have a beach to go crawl up and down and you know, do one of these up and down. And you can see it, it works from the side as well as from the tip. So um, let's see how good it is. Whoops, let's momentarily turn it off. I have here two cups, one full of dirt and one full of bark tree grindings that we put in our backyard trying to kill weeds. I have a paper bowl and I have a key floating around someplace here. Just had it in my hand a minute ago. What did I do with it? There it is. I'm a, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it goes to. It's got this paper tag on it. I'm going to leave the paper tag on it just because that way I'll know it's one I don't know what it is. Let's start with the bark. Whoops, I <laughs> just dumped it all over my desk. I'm telling you. Okay, so there it is. So let's see, let's see how close we have to get to find it. So they say turn it on away from any metal. Okay, so there it is on. That little probably three millimeter LED, it stays on the whole time it's turned on. So you gotta be pretty close. But there it finds it through about, I don't know, an inch or so, inch or so of that bark. So let's try the dirt. Whoops. Let's try the dirt. Let me see if I can get this out of here without making as big a mess as I made putting it in. Although what difference does it make now? I've already made the mess. And there's even some more. I was watching Big Clive the other night do a, do a review of this glow-in-the-dark powder from eBay and I swear to God it makes me feel so good that other people make messes like me. <laughs> Gotta love it. Anyway there's the key back in the bowl. Here's the ah, here's the dirt. This is typical Arizona dirt which means it's probably a goodly part clay. Let's get it in there. We'll get about it what looks we might think like about an inch depth and um And there you have it. Works really pretty good. I mean, there you have it. 25 bucks handheld metal detector. Little flashlight. Works really good. Saved my butt. I would have I would have never have found those keys without this. So thanks to my wife for thinking of it. Thanks to you guys for watching this video. We'll get back to 3D printing here real quick. Got something coming up in the next couple of days. And uh, hit like and hit like and subscribe and notifications and all that stuff. Nobody sent me this for free. I bought this on my own. I have never been approached by the company. I'll put an Amazon link below. It's an affiliate link, but I'm sure if you don't like that, you can find it without it. Hope you're having a great weekend. Bye for now.